Hey guys, so we're back on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we're going to be taking a look at the New England Mountains hotfix. So, they're coming out with a hotfix right now. It's actually out on PC right now, and it's going to be coming to consoles very soon. So, we're just going to go through the list here and just kind of talk about some things. So, starting off here, we have Greetings Hunters. We just pushed out a new hotfix on PC that aims to resolve some of the issues that you've encountered since New England Mountains, and the granted updates have launched. This update will also make its way onto consoles, aiming for later this week bringing additional fixes for the current gen version of the game and its new 60 FPS mode. So, like I said, PC, they have it now, console, it should be coming out later this week, so hopefully that is the case, and it's out in the next couple days. So, let's go through the patch notes here. So, the, the consoles only, fix an issue on Xbox Series X and S that resulted in lower quality image output compared to the previous versions of the game. So, honestly, I haven't really noticed a big difference, I've been seeing people talk about it, but for me, I've just been enjoying the 60 FPS, that's been my favorite part about it. I'm not really big on, like, the graphics and stuff, so that's just not my personal thing. I could have terrible graphics as long as the game is pretty good, so dev team notes, as some members of the community guessed, the Xbox Series X and S versions of the game were running on the Xbox One's visual settings following the X um, 60 FPS update. This resulted in a visible loss of visual quality compared to what players were used to. On Series X, the visual quality has been restored to pre-patched levels while still offering a smooth frame rate. On the Series S, we've made the choice for the following community feedback to return to at 30 FPS in order to offer players a greater image quality at 1440p. While these are the solutions, while these are the solutions we, we've privileged in order to act fast on this issue, know that we will continue to work on further optimizing these versions of the game. So, yeah, it looks like the Series X or S is going to be going back to 30 FPS, which is it really sucks because 30 um, um, Xbox Series S is next gen console. So it really does suck that it's going to be going back to 30 FPS, but you're going to get 1440p in the quality. But I'd rather have, like I said, I'd rather have the um, the 60 FPS, which I have a Series X, so I'm not going to be affected by this, but I do feel for the players on Series S that are going to be affected here. So, moving down, we have consoles and PCs. So, this is a big one right here. The Great One moves are now more likely to spawn with Great One exclusive fur variations. So, this was a big deal when, it, when the update came out because we all thought we were going to be getting these new fur variations for the Great One moves, and then they hit us with that the commons are going to be the ones you get more often. And that really kind of put, that kind of soured some things, honestly, but I'm glad that they've reversed that decision, and now the Great One fur types are going to be more, um, more accessible, I guess you would say. So, hopefully we can find one very soon as well. I've been grinding for a while, or not a while, I've been grinding for a while, but not, like, consistently. I've just been kind of off and on from it, so hopefully we do find one, but let's go ahead and talk about the rest of the stuff. So, the default keybind for placing a waypoint using the binoculars with a controller has been changed to Y slash triangle. It previously um, clashed with the bind to spot animals. Now this is huge because, like I said, I'm on Xbox, so trying to spot your animals and having this, um, um, what is it called, um, a waypoint just pop up on the screen was so annoying because I would have a waypoint like placed off in the distance, like going to a lookout tower or something like that, and then I would press X and then all of a sudden it just would like remove that one and put it onto the animals. It was just super annoying, so I'm glad they fixed that. So. You may have to reset your controller keybinds for this change to take effect. So, need zones discovered while playing solo should now persist after joining a multiplayer session. I haven't played any multiplayer because of that little um, bug or whatever. So, hopefully that's fixed and we can start playing multiplayer again. So, let's hold on a minute. I just want to scroll down a bit. So, players should no longer crash when teleporting to specific locations in various reserves. I haven't had any issues with that. But I've only really played New England and like Medved. So... Let's see, the dog should no longer become unresponsive after the player dies and respawns. I haven't had my dog out in quite some time. The UI keybinds for keyboard and mouse should now save properly between sessions. Players should no longer lose the ability to leave water blinds after harvesting an animal or be ejected from the regular blinds. Players should no longer get stuck waiting for the weapon, weapon customization screen to load, however it may take up to 20 seconds. So, definitely some just quality of life improvements here, and I'm hoping they get more fixes out stuff, like stuff like that, because I know Rancho is a really big one. Um, apparently people have been having issues with Rancho. I'm um, spawning it like I think it's the top left outpost, if I'm not mistaken, and once you spawn up there, the game basically just crashes and you cannot get back into it. So, that's why I haven't done a Prongcorn video yet, because apparently there's a lot of issues over there. So, our goal with this hotfix was to address the most um, pressing issues the community encountered after the, our latest update. Of course, our work doesn't stop there, and we'll continue to work on their issue, on other issues players have encountered during their sessions. We'll share a definitive list of known issues after this week. We'd like to thank the Hunter community for their incredible support since the New England Mountains launch. 
We're humbled by your feedback and proud that you're enjoying this new reserve so much. Happy hunting. So, yeah, happy hunting. Like, that's going to do it for me. Um, a lot of good changes here, a lot of good fixes. So, hopefully they continue to do this. I really hope they're more open with the community and stuff. And start telling us stuff like this, because in the past they haven't been. With this update, they also weren't that open, because they like they didn't tell us about the Great One stuff. Um, some of the other things, like the spooking distance and stuff. So hopefully they are more open moving forward and start getting these hotfixes out. So really do hope you enjoy this video. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. It really does help out the channel. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.